Alright, what's going on guys, it's Trace here and welcome back to yet another video. So all of you know that the Winter Siege update is gonna be getting implemented in the game tomorrow. I'm really excited for that update, but they have made some changes before that update of course. They have made some winter, I don't know, some weapons, some supply drop changes. So the update that came out yesterday, 1.07 update, I'm gonna be listing all the patch notes in the description and I'm gonna be telling you some important things that they did change in this update in today's video. So before I get started, I would really appreciate if you'd smash that like button. If we could aim for 5 likes this video, it would be absolutely amazing. And also subscribe to my channel for all the gaming news, gaming gameplays. Wow, why do I say that word sometimes? But subscribe to my channel please. I'm gonna be giving all the gaming news, gameplays, all that good stuff in the future videos. So please subscribe to my channel and without much ado, let's get started right in the video. So before the Winter Siege update that's gonna be coming out tomorrow, they fixed some really cool stuff in the headquarters. They actually changed the gridiron bolts that we could get and we could like kind of play catch in the headquarters. They changed the gridiron bolts to snow globes. So before you could have picked up the gridiron bolts and play with the balls, now you actually pick up the snow globes and you can play with the snow globes. That that is a really cool thing they added in the headquarters. Now if you guys don't know how to get the gridiron balls, I think most of you already know but if you guys don't know, I'm gonna be linking a video down in the description and I'm also gonna be linking a card up there so you can check it out, I've made a video on that. And another cool thing they did, they added the winter headquarters, they added kind of a Christmas theme to the headquarters. It looks really good, I haven't tested it out yet, I'm actually currently updating my game, I haven't updated it yet. but. They actually added a winter headquarters and looking at some videos, I think it's I think it's quite cool. They changed some stuff in the weapon in the supply drops and also in ranked play. So I'm gonna be talking about some weapons first. I'm gonna be talking about the SCG44 in which there was kind of some hipfire inconsistency. Now I didn't know this before they mentioned in the patch notes yesterday or I think the patch notes came out today. So I didn't know this before the patch notes came out. So basically what this is is you actually get you actually get a low hip fire spread while standing rather than while crouching. That is so wrong. You should get a low hip fire spread while crouching, but they actually had that kind of I don't even know if they had low, but they had that sort of fixed during the 1.07 update. They also fixed something in the muzzle flash of the suppressor or something. Everybody knows that the suppressor is only in the SMGs. That is really unfortunate. I actually wanted to suppress in the assault rifle as well, but I kind of need to check it out. I I haven't checked it out yet. I told you guys that my game is currently on update, I'm gonna check it out once it gets finished. I think it might be one or two hours, I don't even know. But they also fixed something really good. They fixed the prestige hack. Yeah, I know I uploaded a video on how to get the prestige hack. Well, I did it myself to show it to you guys and they have finally fixed it. They haven't reset the levels of those guys who did it. So you can actually find who did the prestige hack if they have like one day played and they're like prestige 8 or prestige 9. So you can find it out that way. They also fixed some map and headquarters exploit. So in the headquarters, you could actually go near the school street training tower and you could get out of the map and you could all you could do all the good stuff and all that thing. And in some maps like Point to Hawk, there was a really overpowered glitch in which you could just stand there and no one would be able to see you or kill you unless they get in the glitch as well. So hopefully it's all fixed up and there's no overpowered glitches now in the maps. And the next thing it they took, they took like a month to find this out. I, I don't believe it. Now, they've added the three team kills in Hardcore and now you're kicked. They've integrated that as well. Now, I don't know. Before, when you like team killed someone five to six times, even once, they would actually have kind of a delay in your spawn in. But now they included this. So, three team kills in Hardcore and yeah, now you're kicked. That's it. Now, I don't even know. Why, why did it take one month to find it out? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't even know. They've added a mute all in headquarters. Now I know most of you guys find like people blowing air through them. <laughs> people blowing air through their mic, people singing some songs, people... I don't even know. Like dude, come on, we're trying to play a game and you're blowing air through your mic. Like what the hell? Seriously don't know why they do that. I, I don't. But now they've added a mute all button in headquarters so you can actually mute all of them and that is a really good satisfying thing. But now moving on to ranked plays. They've actually added some really good things and I don't I don't play rank play that much because in India we don't find rank play games. They've actually added a 7.5 second grenade or semtex delay. So you can't throw any grenades or semtex in around in or around the map or in the hard point before 7.5 seconds. The next thing, the Molotov cocktails are actually banned. The FMJ attachment is banned. We all saw that coming. FMJ was banned in every one of the games. Like 
Someone's in the heart mind, you just spray and pray through the wall and bro, they're dead, double, triple, quad kill. Okay, quad kill. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so that's that's gonna be most of the stuff. They also did some other optimization and stuff in the ranked play as well. Like you're like if you're in the gold league and you get teammates that are unranked, they did that stuff so you can you can get other people that are equal to your skill. I think that's what ranked play is all about. I don't know about other stuff, I haven't played ranked play. But I'm gonna be linking all the patch notes in the description because there are insanely many patch notes and I can't read them all in the video right here so that's gonna be it for the video hopefully you guys enjoyed the video I'm gonna be coming up with more Call of Duty news gameplays and all that stuff I'm gonna be double uploading today as well so like I'm gonna upload my next video in like seven hours or something yeah I'm gonna do that so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video thank you for watching Please share it with your friends, please subscribe to my channel, like the video if you did learn something new and I'm gonna be meeting you in the next video. Trace out. Peace.